Hello, everyone. It is Adam here. Um, in March of 2017, I purchased these two garments from Climb, each $49. The Climb Aggressor 1.0 top and bottoms. Um, they were on sale maybe. I don't know if they're the same price now, but these are the makeup. It's 83% polyester, 70% spandex, made in China. Um, in fact, when I, the first time I used it, I actually ended up tearing a hole in the sleeve here, and they would not cover it under warranty. Heather sewed it back together for me. I've been wearing it ever since, but uh, they said that was abuse or misuse or whatever. Here are the pants, by the way. I only wear these uh, when it's below 50 outside. So below 50 degrees, and I'm going to be riding all day. I ride the Climb Aggressor 1.0s. Now, the way they do this system here is they... Um, it's basically 1.0 is the least amount of warmth, 2.0, and then 3.0. Um, and, and what's weird about it is I, I'm doing any of this video not because this is a very exciting topic, but because I never could tell what the difference between. I knew 3.0 was warmer than 1.0, but in the product shots, 3.0 looks identical to 1.0. So let's look in the crotch here. Yeah, this looks pretty good. There's a little bit of a weird sewing thing there. So what makes the 3.0 better? Well... For 80 bucks a pop for top and bottom, I bought 3.0 because it's getting cold outside. So let's, uh, let's check it out. All right, so here we are. So, aggressor plant pant 3.0 and aggressor shirt 3.0. Oh, wow. Oh, that is significantly thicker. All right, so this is made up of. Well, El Salvador instead of China. To give an idea of what the um, synthetic base layers. That's a shirt 3.0 base. Uh, designed for high intensity output, moisture wicking, breathable, athletic fit, antimicrobial. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The other ones are the two. So this is the warmest of the 1.0, 2.0, and 3.0. Let's see if the pants say what they're made of. I think there's a secondary label in here somewhere. Oh, here we go. No, nope, that's silica. That is thick. The sews, the sewing doesn't look any better though than the 1.0s. Let's see if this says it. There we go. 93% polyester, 7% spandex. So less stretchy, more thickness. As for care instructions, machine wash warm, mild detergent, tumble dry low, do not bleach, dry clean, fabric softener, or iron. Same thing as all the fabrics they sell. If you look here, you get this nice um, internal pattern right there. Really, really soft inside. The outside is um, almost like it would repel like water, water droplets. And as far as the sewing goes, let's, let's go to the 1.0. Apparently. All right, so here's our 1.0 in the orange. So the sews themselves, the actual seams here, Looks like slightly thicker fabric on the 3.0, but the exact kind of tight, same tightness between both of them. Uh, as far as thickness goes, 3.0 feels about 30% thicker. Of course, these have been washed a few times, so the 1.0 might be a little thinner, but it feels about 30% thicker, maybe 50%. Uh, as far as the stretchiness, the 3.0 is significantly less stretchy. Let's look at them over here in the light. So here's the 1.0 shirt and the 3.0 shirt. So looks like, are there more sews on the three? Yeah, there's an extra layer of uh, stitching here on the 3.0 for the armpit. Yeah, you can see like here side by side, you can't tell which one's thicker. Um, but the 3.0 is definitely thicker. So the, the goal here is, um, for me personally, is my winter jacket has been this one for the past couple of years. Uh, this is the Alpine Stars Valprezio. Um, it comes with the rain layer inside, a dry star rain, rain layer. And then underneath that, you've got your, uh, um, you know, flannel kind of pocketed texture. It's not waterproof, but it is, but the outside gets so rain-soaked, waterlogged, that it's heavy as hell. And eventually some does make it through. 
So it's not my wa for waterproofness. It is for warmth, though. So usually um, down to 15 degrees Fahrenheit, I can wear the Valprasia with all the layers installed, plus the 1.0 of this with a t-shirt over it. Um, my plan is to rely more on my Badlands Pro jacket, even down to 15 degrees, we're going to test this theory, wearing the 3.0 base layer underneath it and see how it goes. Uh, Climb and others also sell mid layers. Uh, there's some mid layers out there that I can grab as well, but I really want to accomplish the shell design with just the base layer. And that's why I'm making this video. So I'm definitely going to keep it. I bet the, sh the fit is identical. Um, the only difference will be, given there's less spandex in 3.0, is that um, I think that the compression nature of 1.0, where it kind of squeezes me like a brassiere, um, is going to go away with the 3.0. It's still going to be form-fitting, but it's going to be less tight, which I kind of like the tightness, but um, probably more comfortable for long days in the saddle. I know after about 8 or 12 hours, you really start to feel your chest kind of pushing back against this, um, this really tight fit here. <sighs> okay, so 1.0 versus 3.0, first impressions. Um, they have their own purpose for me. You know, this is a 50-degree shell or, or base, and this is a hopefully 15-degree base, but probably more like 20, 25 and um, absolutely totally different uh, as far as the, the, the makeup of the fabric, the thickness, the stretchiness, the seams. Um, it's in a different pattern, of course, as well. So I'm looking forward to getting the 3.0 on, and the 1.0 will remain a part of my um, silo of more motorcycle gear than regular clothes. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful to someone out there looking to buy the 1.0 or the 3.0. They are different for sure. So grab whichever one is worked best for the kind of riding you do.